you think some of the passport girls engage in sex tourism? Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel and it's your favorite girl as always, Docas. I mean, if you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Why don't you subscribe, like, share, leave your comment down below and tell your friends and family about my channel. And today, I am with a new friend. Your boy Fee, what's going on? And guys, guess what? It's uncle. Do you guys know Sunshine Shoulders? Actually, I do watch his channel, you know, and I don't know that Sunshine Shoulders is actually his uncle. <laughs> Today I am with J-Boy. Am I correct? J-Boy? Is it J-Boy? J-Boy and me? No! <laughs> J-Boy. That's, that's dude where you snap, snap your fingers. <laughs> then lean with it. Hey! <laughs> I'm so sorry. So today I am with Vince. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy Vince or V-Boy. What do you call it? Nothing. Your boy V. Okay, your boy V. Yeah. I am with your boy V. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> so guys, I and Vince, we are going to be talking about some things today and we are going to be talking about some interesting topics. Shoot are you Let's excited? Go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so Vince, tell me, um, how long have you been in the Philippines? Uh, off and on for about a year now. Ooh. Wow, that's nice. And is that your first time being in the Philippines? Yeah, my first oh. time. So what would you say about the Philippines? Um, you're definitely going to sweat, so be prepared to take a shower. <laughs> and if the water pressure is low, you might take a bucket shower. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, when you came to the Philippines, um, what was your impression? I mean, what do you think about the Philippines? We know that there is a you know huge difference between the U.S. and the Philippines. So what came to your mind when you arrived here? And you see the way life is, the way the people are, the way things are being done here. Well, I was U.S. Navy, so I was used to dealing with the Filipinos on the boat. So we had already established that relationship, and that's partly why I came here. Oh! So you made friends with the Filipinos when you were in the U.S. Navy? Mm -hmm. So that was what, you know, gave you the courage to be here? When you were in the U.S. Navy, mm. what, what was your perception of Filipinos? Well, uh, the Filipinos I met in the Navy, they was good. They embraced me with love. Yeah, they actually got me out of trouble a couple of times. So, really? you know, much love. Yeah. You, so, you must be really troublesome. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, do you want to share one time a Filipino got you out of trouble? Oh, uh, man. It was my uh, my 20th birthday in San Francisco. And uh, we went out partying. And I wasn't supposed to be drinking because I was only 20. But you know how it is. I'm from the South, so... I actually, you know, snuck in the club, you know, got me a drink or two. And on the way back, you know, I, I got reported. And they looked out for me and, and everything went under the rug. Oh, they just swept it under the rug. Oh. oh, do you see yourself staying long time here in the Philippines? Oh, yeah, actually, this time I'm, I plan on being here for one year solid. You know, I'm going to try it out, see what's happening. So after one year, you're going to go back to the U.S.? Yeah. What would you consider about the Filipino people since you have been here? Have you experienced any Filipino kindness or something? Oh, yes, much, many times. Um, whenever I'm going to an Airbnb to check into a place, they help me with my bags. Uh, getting off the airplane, they help you with your bags. The people here are mad friendly, yo. Let's talk about something interesting. Uh oh, here we go, here we go. What's happening, y'all? Let's talk about the passport balloons. Uh -huh. I had my passport in 2012. I don't associate with you, dude. I don't know. What do you think about the passport bros? Uh, I think the passport bros are the people that realize during the pandemic they can actually leave their country and have fun and, and make other moves. But uh, as you can see, a lot of the passport bros are kind of reckless. You know, getting themselves into what we would call some mischief. And that ain't your boy. So, you know, I don't, I don't associate with a passport bro. We cool, but keep Thanks. it moving. Some of them are not reckless. Some of them leave their country and come here with the hope of finding a decent, you know, Filipina woman to get married to mm. and all that. So, what do 
what do you think about that? Why do you think the passport bros are fleeing to Philippines, you know, and some other countries to get married to the women here? They tired of Big Shirley back in the States. You know, they tired of um, probably dealing with women that, that want to wear the pants just like a man, which is nothing wrong with that, but, you know, over here, it's, 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 it's a clear and, and divided line, you know? Well, clear and understood line, you know? Mm -hmm. The women are women over here, the men are men. Do you see your future with a Filipina someday? I love Jesus. You know, and I'm gonna <laughs> keep it at that. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that's who I love. He'll never hurt me. He never let me down. Have you been heartbroken by a Filipina before? No, oh, no. No. Oh, are you the one who break people's hearts? No. They don't break your heart, you are the one who break. No, I don't do that either. You know, I'm just that kind of guy. You know, I'm a cool dude. <laughs> okay. Some of your people should get to know me. Ah. <laughs> Coming here to the Philippines, how do you sustain yourself? Do you work or something? I work for 3TE, photography company. You know, I take a couple pictures here and there. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. So what advice would you give to people in the US or anywhere in the world who are looking forward to moving to the Philippines? How do you think they can survive here? Mm. It depends on what they're coming for. If you're coming for a short time, you know, you can save your leave days up, your vacation days, save you some money. Uh, and I think that was the whole explosion of the Passport Bro movement. Because like I said, for two years, they was trapped in the house, saving money, making money. And then, you know, they got tired of the circumstances they was in. And they decided to look elsewhere across the world. And that's what set the whole movement off of the Passport Bro. Yeah. But I had my passport since 2012, so that ain't me, y'all. Do you think some of the passport girls engage in sex tourism? I don't know, you gotta ask them. No. I stay in my lane. <laughs> I mean, we all know what is going on in the, in the world right now. We all know the rate at which passport girls move to the Philippines. So what was your first impression about the Philippines? Mm. Um. Uh, like Uncle Cass said, a lot of things that you see is not going to make any sense. Um, it's not supposed to make sense, just accept it and deal with it. You know? It's not your place to come here and change things, you know? So what are the things that you've seen here that don't make sense to you? <laughs> oh, let me see. If you go to McDonald's and they ask you what do you want, and you tell them what you want, and it's not even on the menu, they say, oh, Paul, we don't have that, sorry. Been here for a month now in the Philippines. What is it you miss about the U.S.? I miss the fact that smoke was legal in the U.S. You know, over here it's not, but in Thailand it is. I wouldn't even deal with any type of yeah. drugs and or anything in the Philippines. You know? But you can do that outside the Philippines. I mean, California is legal. Chicago is legal. Why do you think foreigners um, they go for Filipinas? Because we're in the country. I'm going to say mostly because of the culture, how they was raised, you know, how they treat a man. Do you think white women are not, do not treat their men well? That is why their men come here to get married to women from other countries like Thailand, Philippines, Cambodia, I think. I think it's just a personal preference, you know. Yeah, I don't think race of, of the origin of the person really matters. I just think it's a personal preference. Oh, nice. I know okay. that in the U.S. there is... A high level of racism. Okay. What do you think about here in the Philippines? Do you think there is racism here also? I haven't experienced any of it. You know, me personally, so I can only speak for myself. I haven't experienced that. Okay. What's your favorite Filipino food so far? I love it. Uh, pork adobo. Can okay. you tell me five things you like about the Philippines? Hmm. Uh, so I love the weather. I love the ease of traveling. I mean, you can. You can fly fairly easy here. Of course, the people. That's the fifth one. The fifth one? Yeah, the people. That's so nice. It's so nice talking to Vince today. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think down in the description box. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out. <laughs>